Hey guys, it's Gabby, and today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour. Um, I'm very excited. I still, you know, it's a bit of a work in progress, but I want to show you guys what I have so far, how I organize it, where I got my bookshelf, and all that fun stuff. Um, since I don't have a lot of books, I'll be able to kind of go like one by one. Um, I'm not going to take them out, I'm just going to kind of like tell you which ones I have and then which ones I've read, um, stuff like that. I organize my books in alphabetical order by author. I know some people don't do that, they want their bookshelves to look pretty. I like the way my bookshelves look, so that's just the way I do it. I find that it's easier for me to find a book that way and all my series are together, which I love. I hate it when series are not put together. Um, I was gonna do a rainbow bookshelf, but I don't really have a lot of colors, um, so yeah, um, so without further ado, here is my bookshelf. So I just put all the clips together for this video and I say um so many times, so I apologize in advance. I was very nervous filming this because this is my first video, so I am so, so sorry. Um, I just did it again, but I hope you guys enjoy the bookshelf. I'm so sorry. All right, so here is my bookshelf. Um, it's five shelves. I got this from Target. It's from the Room Essentials brand. Let's back up so you can see it a little bit better. This is what it looks like. I have four shelves full, and then the bottom one, I just have like this pillow down here. Um, because I don't have any books in it yet. It's like a floor pillow. That's why it's down there. Um, so this is what my bookshelf looks like. So I'm gonna get up close and I'm gonna show you guys what books I have. So this is what the first shelf looks like. Um, I have just these two candles here. I made these like last year. I saw someone on TikTok do it. Um, so I made them. I got them from like Hobby Lobby and then I just like bent them in hot water, but I just have them here. So I have Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, The Cruel Prince, Atlas Six, Lore, Felix Ever After, and The Imaginary Friend. Um, I actually have not read any of these yet. Um, they're all on my TBR. Um, I'm gonna read The Cruel Prince next, I think, after I read the Crave series, which I'll show you guys in a second. And I really want to read The Atlas Six soon because I've heard really good things about it. Then I have The Maze Runner, The Great Gatsby, Beautiful Creatures, Looking for Alaska, and The Fault in Our Stars. This is kind of like a random section of my bookshelf. I got The Great Gatsby because I never read it before. I got this off a book outlet. Um, it's the Paper Mill Press. And these books are all books that I read when I was younger, but I either never finished them or they're just like my favorite books. The Fault in Our Stars is like was my favorite book when I was a kid, so I bought it. These three I got at a used bookstore um, down in Florida, so that's why they're kind of like tattered up and then the maze runner i just ordered actually because i remember starting this when i was younger but i and i liked it but i never finished it so that's that then i have people we meet on vacation the outsiders it ends with us and the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i have not read any of these books except for the outsiders i read this when i was in eighth grade and i loved it so i just bought it again um just to have it I am kind of nervous to read It Ends With Us because I read Verity and I did not like it. So I'm kind of nervous, that's why I haven't read it yet. These are kind of like more popular books right now, so I'm just like nervous to read these. Um, and then I have some of my Stephen King books, I'm just going to move these over for a second. So I have Carrie, It, Misery, and Pet Cemetery. I also have The Shining, but it didn't fit on the shelf, so it is on my next shelf. I have not read any of these yet either. I do want to read it in October, but I don't know because I'm actually like <laughs> I'm actually like really afraid of Pennywise, so I don't know. And this is just like a very big book, but I have these. I want to read them like more like you know for fall. Moving on to my second shelf, this is what it looks like. So I just have this mug here. I got this from TJ Maxx, and I have like my book light and like these random bookmarks i don't know what else to put in them i also have this little crystal here um so starting here i do have the shining which i started but i never finished i have not a happy family the girl with the dragon tattoo and we were liars i have not read any of these except for this 
this I am nervous to read because I've heard such mixed things about it but I just bought it because I just I just want to know like what the issue is with it I have the inheritance game shatter me a court of thorns and roses and the maidens I've not read any of these yet either I'm kind of nervous to start these two because they're more like fantasy and I'm not like a huge fan of fantasy but I want to give them a try I have heard really good things about this book so I am looking forward to it and the maidens I started I never finished it I may be giving it away I don't really like it that much then I have Circe and the Song of Achilles this is my favorite book of all time I know it's overhyped please just go read it though it's amazing I have not read Circe yet but it is on my TBR. Then I have the whole Twilight series. I actually only read these two. Um, I have not read these three yet, so that's that. Then I have over here, Everything I Never Told You, All the Bright Places, and 1984. I just got this at a used bookstore not that long ago because some people were talking about it on TikTok. And then these two I got because I saw the movie for this one and everyone said the book was better. I got this on Book Outlet if you are looking for it, like cheap. And then this one, I've heard like really good things about it. So I just got that book, like my last book haul. And then this is my third and final shelf other than my Rick Riordan shelf. So let me just get down here so I can show you guys. So I have, there's someone inside your house, the devil all the time, I'm thinking of ending things, and if we were villains, I've only read two of these books, these two, um, this is like my favorite book of all time, please go read it if you have not yet, then I have The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, History is All You Left Me, They Both Die at the End, and A Touch of Darkness, I started The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, and I didn't like it that much, so I'm just saving it for right now. They both died at the end, destroyed me. And then I have the Goldfinch, The Secret History, The Merciless. And I really want to read this because people said it's very, very similar to If We Were Villains. And I loved that book. Then I have the Crave series, which I'm currently reading. I'm on Crush right now. That's why it looks like this. I just put the dust track in here. I love this book. <laughs> um, it's like kind of embarrassing to say, but this is like such a good series so far. It's just, it's fantastic. Got me on my reading slump. And then I have A Little Life, Everything, Everything, and a, The Book Thief. I have not read any of these yet. This one I started, but it was too confusing for me. So I stopped it. And then I just have this like um, crystal bag here just to kind of like hold the pile up. And then on my last shelf, my favorite shelf, this is my work in progress Rick Riordan shelf. Um, so I just actually read the Piercy Jackson series like for the first time a couple of weeks ago and i loved it so i went on thrift books and i ordered um the kane chronicles and the heroes of olympus and i was just gonna put them on like my bookshelf but i wanted to give it its own dedicated shelf because i am ordering the other series soon if you are looking for cheap rick riordan books i got these three here and these four here for super cheap on thrift books for $32 I got all those books and they're all in like pretty decent condition so right here I just have the artwork that came with my box set which I got this at Target I know I cracked the spines just ignore it I got this at Target the box set so I just like taped this here just so everyone knows this is the Percy Jackson shelf and then I have just like this candle here to hold the books up um, just like for decoration so I have Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and then I have the King Chronicles and the Heroes of Olympus. I have not read these yet other than the Percy Jackson series. I want to read them in order. So next I'll be reading the King Chronicles, then the Heroes of Olympus, and then Magnus Chase in the Trials of Apollo. Um, so this is like my work in progress shelf. And then just the last shelf I have is the pillow. So that is... My bookshelf in its prime so that was my bookshelf tour so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and let me know what videos you want me to do next because this is my first video so i'm just like kind of getting into the youtube thing and i love talking about books so if you want me to do any reviews or like reading vlogs um just let me know and i will do them so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye